Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at the Amazon S3 Glacier service. Amazon S3 Glacier is an extremely low-cost storage service that provides secure, durable and flexible storage for data backup and archival. Please don't get confused with S3 Glacier storage class. Amazon S3 Glacier is a separate AWS service, whereas S3 Glacier storage class is one of S3 storage classes. Amazon S3 Glacier was originally called Amazon Glacier, and rebranded to Amazon S3 Glacier. Previously you had to use lifecycle rules to move S3 objects to Amazon Glacier. In fact, a very high percentage of the data stored in Amazon Glacier comes directly from customers using S3 lifecycle policies. In November 2018, AWS introduced a new feature to allow archiving data directly from S3, and Amazon Glacier was officially rebranded to Amazon S3 Glacier. S3 Glacier uses vaults as containers, you can store an unlimited number of archives in a vault. Unlike universal S3 bucket naming, you can create vaults with the same name in different regions. Within a region, an account must use unique vault names. Each vault has a unique address. You can create vaults using AWS console, SDKs, API or CLI. However, you cannot upload archives to Glacier using AWS console. To upload files to Glacier, you must use SDKs, API or CLI. S3 Glacier also works with S3 lifecycle rules. You can use lifecycle rules to move S3 objects to Glacier storage classes. Alternatively, you can directly archive objects inside S3 buckets using S3 Glacier storage classes. Objects archived inside the S3 bucket use Glacier as the underlying service. However, you won't be able to see them from Glacier console UI. An S3 Glacier Vault can have a Vault Access Policy and a Vault Lock Policy associated with it. A Glacier Vault Access Policy is similar to S3 Bucket Policy. Vault Access Policy is a resource-based policy that you can use to manage permissions to your Vault. A Vault Lock Policy is similar to S3 Object Lock. You can lock the Vault Lock Policy to control access and prevent certain Glacier operations. After you lock the policy, the policy cannot be changed. You can use a vault lock policy to enforce compliance controls. Both S3 and S3 Glacier are secure and scalable AWS storage services. Let's compare the differences between them. S3 is object storage. It stores data that require frequent and immediate access. It offers different storage classes to suit your access patterns. As a complement, you can also archive objects directly in S3 using Glacier and Glacier Deep Archive storage classes. S3 Glacier is archive storage. It's the secure long-term storage for archives only. S3 uses buckets as containers to store objects. Bucket name must be unique across all AWS accounts. S3 Glacier uses vaults as container to store archives. You can create vaults using the same vault name in different regions. In S3, you can prevent objects from being deleted or overwritten by enabling object lock on S3 bucket. In Glacier, you can prevent certain operations on the archives such as deletion or overwriting, using Glacier Vault Lock Policy. A bucket policy is a resource-based policy controls access at the S3 bucket level. A vault access policy is a resource-based policy controls access of the vault. You can query data stored in S3 directly using SQL Query with S3 Select, and query data store in Glacier with Glacier Select. S3 and S3 Glacier have different consoles, SDKs, APIs or CLIs. In S3, you can manage buckets and objects, or archive objects using S3 console, SDKs, API or CLI. In Glacier, you can manage vaults using Glacier console, or programmatically using Glacier SDKs, API or CLI. However, you can only perform operations on archives programmatically. In this episode, we've learned that S3 Glacier is an extremely low-cost storage service that provides secure, durable and flexible storage for data backup and archival. S3 Glacier uses vaults as containers, you can store an unlimited number of archives in a vault. You can control access of archives using vault access policy. You can lock archives and prevent deletion or overwritten using vault lock policy. Okay, that's all for S3 Glacier. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you liked the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudomy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned.
At Cloudomy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning.